right, guys, here we go. We've got some SBF basketball coming your way. As we're about to watch the Chapel Hill Hornets taking on the Cali Bobcats, one of the league's very best teams in the Cali Bobcats and the league's new upcoming team led by brand new GM, brand new star player. I mean, these Hornets are just a brand new team over the last couple months and these guys are looking to try to figure it out heading into the playoffs where they can make a splash. I mean, this is going to be a very tough game for them as they take on the Bobcats. Cali, quite a story for them this season as they managed to land Jeffrey John in a massive trade as well as Ed Payne and Dallas Hawkins. These guys added three superstar caliber players to an already stacked roster. What does that say about this GM? That shows his commitment to the game and his commitment to his team. They are in it to win it now. John, he passes it down to Ed Payne. Ed matched up with Dion Hill. Gonna have to be careful of that three seconds, kicks it out. John has it, one second left. He's gonna have to fire it. Bad first offensive possession as Ed Payne held it under the glass for about 10 seconds. And there's an out of bounds. Brandon Shipley's foot hits that line and the ref calls it on him. The ball's gonna go right back to Cali. Those are the type of bad plays that you cannot have when you're playing a dominant team like the Bobcats. They're going to drop it down to Kyrie. Kyrie matched up against Bean Shep right now. What a matchup off the screen. He has it at the three-point line. Six seconds driving. Blows by him, lays it in, and it's good. Bean's defense stood no chance on that play as Kyrie Irving. Oof. Kyrie Allen, I apologize, Kyrie Allen. I mean, I guess I've been watching too much Nets basketball recently. And there's Kyrie Allen with a steal. Here he goes. Driving right at the rim. Lays it up and no good. And I said I've been watching Nets basketball. Listen, I understand he hasn't played. I'm trying to dig myself out of this hole that I'm currently in. And it's making it worse. So I'm just going to be honest with you guys here, okay? It's been a while since I commentated a game. I stumbled. Let's get over it. The faster you move on, the faster I can move on. All right? We don't need this right now. We're trying to have fun and call the nice, clean game. Kyrie Allen's at the line, getting ready to shoot a couple. All right? Spider-Man's out if you haven't seen it yet. I don't know if I'm legally allowed to advertise that, but... I mean, right now, this couldn't get any worse for me, so I'm just going to keep digging that hole. All right? Bang energy. I don't know. Oof, I, I'm going to take a breather. I don't know why I just randomly said bang energy. I don't drink those drinks. They're not affiliated with the league in any way. I'm just... All right, all right, all right, all right, here we go. Chapel Hill, there's another steal, this time John. John driving, left hand, trying to go right at him. Very smart to slow it down. Knows he's not an offensive weapon. Going to set up the play. Very great job by Jeffrey John. And what a good defensive play by the Bobcats again. Five seconds left on the clock. John down to Ed Payne. Payne guarded by Dion. Goes up. No, Dion's going to steal it from him. Ed pumped, faked, and then had it stripped. A lot of steals in this game. Very uncharacteristic of these pro players, as normally they are very clean with the ball. Pass back out to Shipley. Six seconds. Shipley, fake, puts it up mid-range. Hand in his face. Great defense that time from Dallas Hawkins. Shane Kerrigan gets it over to Dallas. Dallas driving, puts it up, left hand, no good. Dion Hill yanks it down. Hornets cannot get this offense going right now. Defensively, they're competing at a high level. And what a pass from Bean as he finds Dion Hill cutting down the middle of the lane. Good easy layup there. Guys, this court is brought to you by Carter. 
Chapel Hill's GM. He did such a fantastic job designing his own team. He built these jerseys. He built the stadium. He built the court. He built everything. Such a good job. We thank Carter for everything he does in this league. Such a massive part of this. And a giant contributor. One of the main reasons why I'm able to still have a life well having fun in this game is because Carter grinds so hard to help us out. Thank you, Carter, for everything you do. Ed Payne inbounds it now over to Kyrie. Kyrie, five seconds, crosses Bean over, lays it up and no good. There's Ed Payne, though. Going to get it right back to Kyrie, who lays it in. Look at how unselfish Ed Payne is. The seven foot two center grabs a rebound. The only person standing in his way is little man Bean Chip. And instead of throwing it down, he hands it off to Kyrie and says, here you go, eat a little bit more. Bean goes up with it and got it. Right in Payne's face. Bean Chip, absolutely no soul on that shot. John setting up this offense. Jeffrey John currently leading the league in assists. Not of point guards, of any player. The entire league is a rookie. Kerrigan going to pull. Mid-range jumper. That one's no good. Here comes Brandon Shipley trying to pick up the tempo a little bit. Driving right at John. Puts it up. Mid-range, no good. Back and forth ball game here. Great defensive contest. Alley-oop is good. Dallas Hawkins from Jeffrey John. What vision John has, especially on that play, to see Dallas Hawkins throw it perfectly, and then Dallas Hawkins showing that rare athleticism that we don't see very often from him as he gets up high and throws it down. Spin move, trying to go up on Ed Payne. That's never going to work. Hawkins over to Kyrie. Kyrie not heated up yet. Gets it over to John. John driving right at Boyd. Goes up. Left hand layup. That one's in. Timeout Hornets. I mentioned a few moments ago that Kyrie Allen is not heating up yet because they're still winning by six. Back in the day, this team, if Kyrie wasn't shooting lights out, they were losing ball games. Look at them now. They're up by six points, and Kyrie hasn't really done a lot. That's not a diss on Kyrie. That is a, an absolute overwhelming compliment for the rest of the squad. Josh Allen, Trelly Wright, a couple of rooks check into the game now for the Bobcats. Braves sets a screen. The drive, the kickback. Two seconds left. Cook pulls three ball. No good off the back of the rim. Cook, the recent free agent acquisition for these Hornets. Great pickup. Very successful in his last game out. Hand off to Trelly. Kick over to Butler. Butler going right at his man. Going up strong. Got his own rebound. The putback's no good. Cook has the board. Here he comes. Alley-oop misses Graves. Shane Kerrigan finds it. Cook, I thought, had an open three. Chose not to take it. There's the center with a three ball. No good on that one. Both teams not shooting very well right now. Pass over to Ricky Elliott. Back to Brand over to Cook. Eight seconds left on the clock. Drops it down to Elliott. Three seconds. They're going to have to put it up. What a terrible offensive possession for this squad as nobody got open for any shots. Nobody moved around. Josh Allen with a quick three. That's no good. Both teams just looking lackluster on offense here tonight. Cali just not shooting too well. And Chapel Hill just not getting anybody open. Come the Bobcats. Let's see what they set up this time. Right now they're using Shane Kerrigan. Trying to ISO on Cook right at the rim. Puts it up. No good. 
fighting for the board. There's Hunter Cooley. He comes down with it. Ten seconds left. Pick and roll Trelly and Shane. Kick over Cooley. Pump fakes. Three seconds left. Kerrigan has it down low. Turn. Puts it up and good. 6'6", six, six, power forward Shane Kerrigan. Making it look easy down low. And there's a decent move. Great shot from Shipley to be able to get that one to go down. I feel like he could have gotten a little more of an open shot, but it still fell for him. Here comes Josh Allen leading all rookies in scoring points per game this season. Averaging around 26, if I'm remembering correctly. Kerrigan tries to set a screen and set it stolen. Hornets with a chance to score before the quarter closes. Doesn't fall. We're going to go into the first quarter break with the Hornets down. Six points to 12. Low scoring defensive contest in this one. Let's see if Bean Shep can turn things around for his squad after the break. And here we go, guys, setting up for the second quarter of basketball. Not a lot of scoring in this one. I'm really surprised to see the Bobcats not taking it to this Chapel Hill defense. This Chapel Hill, though, very strong defensively. Where they struggle is offensively. Cook has it up top, five seconds to go. Good ball, a uh, good off ball movement here. Nobody able to get open. Cook just fires it. Rebound Bradley Graves and the putback's good. Good movement on that play off ball, but those Bobcats, they hung with them. Didn't give them an inch. Butler has it up top. Butler's driving, puts it up left hand, no good. Elliott with the rebound. Cook alley-oop, and that one's good. Bradley Graves, four points to start this quarter as the Hornets are now down by just two. A minute in, 4-0 run right now for the Hornets. Butler pick and roll with Cooley. Forced to pick it up, he's gonna pull mid-range. Butler not playing well tonight. And here comes Cook. Kicks it over to Brand. This Chapel Hill offense rolling right now. Brand matched up against Butler. Goes up strong. There's a block. Rebounded. Here we go with that pick and roll. Over to Elliott. One second on the clock. The shot is up and no good. Rebounded Shane Kerrigan. Here come the Bobcats. They need to get something going here. Their offense has been stagnant. Shane kick out to Trelly. Trelly back to Shane. Around the arc now. Five seconds to go. Cooley. Great pass to Butler. The layup though doesn't go. The ref, not the ref, the coaches have got to get Butler out of this game. He is playing terrible. Double crosses. Pass inside. Elliott has it. That's a tied ball game. Great pass from Brand to Elliott to tie this game up 12 points apiece. And there's a much needed timeout by this Bobcats coaching staff. They are clueless on how this is a ball game. If I'm this Bobcat coaching staff, uh, Butler is not coming back into this game. That is as simple as that. Butler has absolutely been atrocious all night long so far. Payne gets it to Kyrie. Kyrie going right at the defense. What better way to get some easy points than at the foul line? Get a couple of points from the charity stripe. That is the best way to try to turn things around when things aren't going your way. Leave it to Kyrie Allen to get offense going. First free throw. That's up and good.
Second shot for Kyrie. That falls. He is four for four from the line tonight. Responsible for four of the 14 Cali Bobcat points. Bean sets a screen. Pick and roll. Bean and John, teammates at the University of Michigan. Going at it. John with a block. He comes down with it too. Kicks it over. Trelly, alley-oop. Can't find the target. That one's no good. Deion Hill intercepts it. The Bobcats have got to perform better offensively. Deion Hill matched up on John. Turn, fade. That's a deep two. No good. Ed Payne pulls it down. Bad decision there from Dion. Dallas Hawkins likes what he sees. Puts it up and no good. Both teams just taking terrible shots. This could end up being one of the lowest scoring games of the season as this is just a slugfest. Bean coming off a couple screens. Does not get open. Two seconds left. Gets it down to Graves who puts it up and no good. Rebound to Dion. Dion though gets it to fall. Dion Hill, the current Hornet superstar. Ed Payne pumps twice, puts it up. Left hand, that's good. Does not shoot often, but when he does, boy, is he efficient. This guy, one of the most efficient scorers in the entire SBF. Cook, quick spin at the rim. That one doesn't fall. In transition now, Kyrie. Sprints right out of bounds. And the offensive struggles for the Bobcats continue tonight. I mean, I don't know what else to say besides this is just not a good game for either team so far. We are almost at halftime, not even past 20 points. We're hoping for a flurry of offense at any point. Five seconds. Trelly right. Great job staying right on Bean that last time out. Cook puts it up. No good. Rebounded. Graves as he throws it down. Where was Ed Payne? Just let Graves grab that one. And, I mean, I guess Ed Payne can't win them all. Kyrie tries to find Ed Payne. Cutting. Gets intercepted. Here come the Hornets. Chance to take the lead. Dion has it down low. Going right at John. Puts it up. Great help side defense from Payne. Kyrie pumps once. Gets it over to Dallas. Two over to John. Two minutes. Passes over to Trelly. To Kyrie. Kyrie pulls. Three ball. That one bounces off the rim and no good. It's still a tied ball game. Here comes Dion Hill. Trying to take the lead. Double team comes and the Bobcats come away with it. Another steal. Defense turned all the way up for these squads tonight. John, three ball. That's good. Timeout. Timeout, Hornets. Start it. Jeffrey John, a very underrated three point shooter. Uh, problem is, Jeffrey John does not shoot very often. But. Leave him open like they did there most of the time it's going to put up. Very much a volume shooter. The more he shoots, the better he gets. But the problem is he doesn't shoot very often. Here we go. Pass over to Bean. Bean's going to get it over to Brandon Shipley. Minute 15 still in the second quarter. Going right at Ed Payne. Ed again. Now this team was lackluster in the paint before Ed Payne. Post Ed Payne, one of the best paint defensive teams in the league as Kyrie Allen misses a three and Dallas Hawkins another athletic slam. Ed Payne, Dallas Hawkins proving to be absolutely vital. Good shot there in the post from Dion and it falls. 
What a great, rare scoring center. And Jeffrey John finds Kyrie Allen on a beautiful cut. And that goes. And here comes a flurry of scoring. This is what we've been waiting for. These Bobcats, when they heat up, are dangerous. And Bean with one of his own. Trelly right gets lost and lets Bean slide on through. Pass over to John. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Trelly has it. Going to hand it off to Kyrie. Kyrie driving. Breakaway. Up and under. That's good. Chapel Hill, if they manage the clock correctly, should get the last shot of the quarter in what started out as a very low-scoring game absolutely ignited here towards the end of quarter number two. They're going to let Bean have it. Bean versus Trelly goes up and no good to end quarter number two. Heading into halftime, Cali currently up by five. Chapel Hill definitely still in this ball game. Dion Hill playing great. Bean Shep non-existent right now. Bean Shep not playing bad. He's just not there. Guys, SPF playoffs are almost here. I, I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler. I know what the NCAA playoff bracket looks like, and my goodness, are you all going to be excited when you see it. It is fantastic. Your players of the half so far, Dion Hill and Jeffrey John. John, 5-1 and 3. Dion, 6 and 4. My halftime analysis, Cali Bobcats shooting very poorly, but the Chapel Hill Hornets just do not have the offensive skill to take advantage of the lackluster offense by the Bobcats. And what I mean by that is the Hornets would play good defense, get a good stop, and then not score on the other end. I think the Hornets have a few good offensive pieces in Deion Hill, Bean Shep, uh, Boyd Dawkins, but they're just not clicking. They don't work well together. Sometimes you run into chemistry issues, and I'm wondering if that's what's happening here in Chapel. Boyd, three ball, no good, grabbed by Shane Kerrigan. Good open look. Those have got to fall. Shane going right at Bean. I feel like that's a mismatch down low, but they're not going to take it. Instead, they give it to Kyrie, who drops it to Ed. Ed guarded by the little point guard. Boyd Dawkins puts it up and good. Ed Payne, two for two tonight. Puts the Bobcats up by seven. If you haven't already, guys, follow the SPF on Twitter. That's where all the action's at. Subscribe to us on YouTube so you can catch all the action. Great find down low as Dallas Hawkins was wide open, but Deion Hill with a pluck, he intercepts it, saves his team. Bean had an open three, doesn't take it. He hesitated just slightly too long. Here he comes off a couple screens. Bean again doesn't pull the three ball. Backs up and here it is. Three from Bean, that one's good. Man, did he look nervous to shoot it. I heard he got rattled. I heard his coach laid into him after his last performance. And now he's a little hesitant to shoot. Let's see if he can overcome that here in the second half when his team needs him the most. Shipley now. Has a teammate. Chooses not to give it to him. Braves though. Rebounded. Puts it up and good. Brandon Shipley. Very selfish play. Saved there by Graves. Here come the Cats. Kyrie loses it. Here comes Bean. The Hornets looking to tie it up after a Bean Shep steal. Bean hands it to Dawkins over to Hill. These Hornets are feeling it right now. Alley oop to Dion. That's a tied ball game. What a performance by these Hornets right now. Kyrie wants it. You can feel it. Poles, mid-range jumper. That rattles in. That's just, he's too good. Nothing you can do there. Timeout, timeout. Timeout, timeout from the Hornets. They want to talk it over. Up by two. 
Chapel Hill currently down by two. Cali up by two. Chapel Hill definitely a great chance in this game. Nobody expected it to be this close, and here they are fighting. Middle of the third quarter, they're still in it with a good chance to win it. Boy, double cross, looking for a teammate. A lot of good movement, nobody getting open though. Elliott gonna hand it over to Shipley. Shipley has to make something happen here. Three seconds, former teammates going at it. Boyd gonna have to force a three and loose ball foul called on Brandon Shipley. And there's that block earlier from John. Look at that left hand. On the way down, gets a little tap. Very, like Bean Shep got him on that pump fake. John though had the smarts to keep his hand at play and got the fingertip block. What a game-changing moment that was. Pass down to Hawkins, over to Kyrie. Easy three, bang. Bang, bang, choo-choo train. Wind me up, I do my thing. No Reese's Pieces, butter cups. Screw with me, I screw you up, says Kyrie Allen. Spin move, he gets Shane Kerrigan on the floor. Brandon Shipley and Shane Kerrigan are fighting here in the third. You can tell these former teammates used to play together for A-Town. Definitely having fun going at it. Pick and roll. Kyrie driving. Finds that pain. Lays it up. Left hand. That's in. Defensive play there from Kerrigan, forcing the miss. Here come the Bobcats now. Allen held scoreless in this one so far. Let's see how they get him involved here in the second half. Eight seconds left on the clock. Kyrie off a couple screens. Decently open three. I won't give you the whole song again, but I'll give you the result. The result was a bang by Kyrie Allen. All right, I'm going to give you something I've never done before. This is Jeffrey John, okay? Uh, I'm Jeffrey John. I'm going to give you my top five favorite players. That doesn't mean they're necessarily the best players. If I had to build a starting five of just my favorite players to watch... In this league, this is what it would be. Point guard would be Kyrie Allen. Shooting guard, Russ Hopkins. Small forward is tough. You know what? I'd probably put Levi McNeil at point, Russ at shooting guard, Kyrie Allen at small forward. Since Kyrie now plays the small forward, I can do that. Power forward. This is really tough. Not a lot of great power forwards outside of Michael Self, so I'm going to have to go with Michael Self. And the center position, that there are so many centers that are just really good at their job. Kenneth Michaels, just a terrific defender. Ed Payne, just a terrific rebounder. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two so it's really just based on what you think you need for your team. Deion Hill, a fantastic scoring center. I'm not sure where I lean with who my favorite center to watch is, but I'm almost leaning towards Ed Payne here. And right there is exactly the reason why. This man is just a hustle player. Blocks, rebounds, everything besides scoring. So with my team that's currently stacked with scorers, Ed Payne just sitting at the middle, gathering rebounds, blocking shots. Michael Self will be my facilitator at the four. I'll let Russ, Kyrie, and Levi just go crazy with some shooting. 
Boyd Dawkins got a wide open three, a chance to close the gap, and he misses it. Kyrie Allen matched up on Bean. You can tell he likes this matchup going right at him. Alley-oop to Hawkins. It's good. As you see, there are 14 to 5 run as these Bobcats and Hornets, uh, for that matter, both teams just playing really well on offense as of late. Screen set, Bean going to pull mid-range off the front of the rim and no good. Under one minute to go in the third. Hawkins puts it up, no good. And Payne with emphasis. My goodness, that man is insane. Edley Payne. Kerrigan trying to put a hand in his face, absolutely accidentally taps his hand. That's going to be a foul. First shot, no good. Jeffrey John ready to check in. As the Bobcats right now are currently up by 11. Here we go, Kyrie driving, underhand scoop and no good. Chapel Hill, chance to close out the quarter here. Bean versus John. Michigan on Michigan violence. Screen set. Bean pulls. Three ball. No good. Tip in from Graves. That's good. Roland Graves ends the quarter with a tip in. Cuts the lead down to nine for the Bobcats. We'll be back in a few moments. And we are back with some more SBF. We have fourth quarter basketball action coming at you.
timeout, Bobcats. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And I'm back. Yeah, I know. I was gone the whole four. Unexpected, but we have a good game. So again, not going to end it. Honestly, because of the low turnout rate as well. I just will leave it like it was. The reserves are coming in, guys. Thanks for checking out this game. Congratulations to Cali. Chapel Hill, hold your heads up high. The team's getting there. You've got your future stars. It's just time to start building on them. And there's only so much you can do in the regular season. It might be time to close the book for this year and start to look forward to next year. If you're a Chapel Hill fan... But the one thing I can promise you about these Hornets is that if there is one person in this league that I'm 100% sure on with their devotion to the league, their dedication, and their work ethic, it is Carter. This team is going to get there. This GM wants it, and it's just a matter of time before he gets it.
right, time winding down. Here we go with the cats. <laughs> Butler back out there. What started out as a terrible game for Butler ended as nothing as they didn't let him back in and the team began to dominate. I wonder if that could be a strategy going forward. Less Butler potentially equals more wins. I don't know. I'm not sure. That's the way it looks tonight, though. All right, guys. Time winding down again. Thanks for checking this out. Hit that like button, drop a comment, make sure to get your points. And most importantly, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys in the next one.